Hi everyone, I'm Jamie and this is Skyrim. And this may look very different to anyone who's played Skyrim before because I've got a mod on that just makes character creation a hell of a lot more detailed. And the main way we're going to use this is to play as a giant because there is a slider that you can use to change your height. I was playing with this mod off camera just because I decided to do a Skyrim playthrough because I hadn't played it in a while, but I wanted a load of mods to, you know, make it interesting. And I saw this height option and I was like, yeah, I've got to make a video out of this. This is absolutely insane. Here we go, body scales, height. And look what happens if I move it up 0 0.01. Okay, 0 0.02, but you get the picture. It goes up really quickly, so we can do that. <laughs> then we've got a giant. Zooming out doesn't help. We can still only see her thighs. Oh god, that's zoomed in. Oh no. I decided to see what this would be like, because when I was playing by myself, I just went to 1.1, because I wanted to just be a little bit taller than usual, and I ended up being a head and a half taller than Ulfric Stormcloak. So I decided to see what would happen if you went all the way to 2. Let's just scale her her back down for the rest of the character creation just so we can actually see her. Oh my god, I've got to do a video on the smallest saying as well. <laughs> oh my god, you can make her a bobblehead. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I'm doing that as well. Let's just stick all the sliders up to the end. Let's see what happens. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna crush the game. What have I created? <laughs> Why does the age setting just make her melt? <laughs> Ear size. Jesus, what have I done? I'm not sure the mod intended this. <laughs> Another thing the mod does is takes the expressions that your character can have in combat or in conversation or something and lets you have them all the time. Okay, let's see what combat anger does. <laughs> she looks like she's just eaten a lemon or something. Combat shout. Just the same. Just, just the lemon again. Mood fear. Oh no. Okay, that... <laughs> I like mood fear. I'm leaving that on. Let's just scale the height up to two. And yeah, let's go into the game. Let's just call her Yankee because she looks like a melted candle. You kit determines your starting equipment. Choose wisely. I think they made a little bit of a mistake. Just just, just here. Just just there. I think I'm just going to go with combat because I scaled all the weapons up as well. So we've got to see what that looks like. Oh my god. Ah, oh my god. I'm so tall. <laughs> This is already mental. Oh no. Oh god. Oh no. <laughs> Have you ever wanted to play Skyrim as a giant bobblehead? Well, now you can. Oh my god, I've got Cloud Strife Sword. Okay, let's go somewhere. Let's just. <laughs> I don't even know what to do. I'm just so overwhelmed by this whole situation. Hello. <laughs> Cicero just looking up at me. I like how characters do look up to try and look in your eyes. The sword takes up about a third of the screen. <laughs> What's the closest city? Whiterun. Let's go there. I feel like I have to travel in third person because if I don't, you can't see my character in all her glory. Look at those incredible biceps. <laughs> it looks like she's just wearing a really oversized sized cardigan. <laughs> she's about to back up to try and look me in the eye. Okay, you just sell moon sugar and skooma. That is against the law. You cannot sell these things. You are breaking the law. How did I not hit her? I guess my sword still has the hitbox of a normal sword. There we go. I finally hit her. <laughs> I have to be like right next to her. Oh my god. <laughs> That's horrifying. Oh my god, I've also got a mod that adds a lot more blood. That is, that is a lot of blood. I've never actually seen the blood mod in action. That is, oh god, that's a lot. I will take all your moon sugar and your skooma. You violated the law. You can't have that stuff. I'm a law-abiding citizen. I couldn't just leave her selling moon sugar and skooma to every passerby. Hello, fellow traveler. Hello. Nice day we're having. Hello. I want to find an actual giant so I can fight it. I think that would look hilarious. Although I think because I'm a level one player, I probably just get shot into orbit. Oh god, puppy. Yeah, that was, that, that fight went a lot smoother than the other one. <laughs> this, this, what is it, like a moose or an elk? It's an elk, isn't it? The elk doesn't know what to think. I swear they usually just run away when you approach, but that one was like, wait, what, wait, what? What the hell is that thing? Oh my god, can I even get through here? Oh, I can, okay, I just phased through. I was worried she was just gonna hit her head and I wouldn't be able to get into this place. Hello, citizens. I am the world's most giant orc. Be not afraid. 
I am just like you, except I'm giant. It always looks so weird when I get to these bridges. My hair just phases through it. You know, not to mention my giant sword. If I block, I'm only blocking with the handle. The blade is nowhere near me. How did I go right past Whiterun? What? I just went right past it. I'm just too used to playing Morrowind, where a distance like that would take me like half an hour. I'm not used to being able to make that distance in only five minutes. It looks so weird when she walks, because her steps have to make the same distance as a normal sized character, so they have to make her just moonwalk a lot. <laughs> they haven't scaled the jump to a smaller player, so I can just wee. I like this shot of my character with white run in the distance. It makes her look even more giant. <laughs> They're fighting a giant. I'm never going to get there in time, but they are fighting a giant. Look at the size. Look at the size. I think I'm actually taller than the giant. I am. I'm taller than the giant. I'm surprised they're not just attacking me on sight. Hey, I tried my best. I, I didn't. I didn't even try and get my sword out. I was just comparing the size. I might have to try joining the companions because I want to see if the werewolf is just as big. Mate, I think I could eat the entire right white run city cart. Yeah, keeping an eye on me won't be difficult. Oh my god. I'm about the same size as some houses. Hey, Nazim. I think you might be in trouble. I feel offended by this statue. There shouldn't be anything taller than me. Ah, finally, a decent sized door. Giant accessibility in this town is awful. <laughs> I love how they look up. It makes me chuckle every time. Look at his neck. Just craning up to try and look my character in the eye. Yeah, I don't think I can be here without having gone to Helgen. This must be like a puddle to me. Love how it's saying I'm swimming. I can stand up here. Every time the camera pans to her face, I'm just like, oh no, what have I done? Look at her biceps just flapping about. What happens if I go in a building like this? <laughs> oh dear. Okay, the ceiling's fairly high. I'm okay. I'm okay in here. What's it look like from a first person view? Oh my god. <laughs> the floor is so far away. Ow. Ow. Ow, ow. Oh, God. This is so stupid. I love it. It's so weird to see White Run from up this high. Ow. Still, my favorite thing about this mod is how they look up at me. I love it. I want to try and find a giant to fight. It's not going to go well. I'm probably going to be killed in one hit. Ooh, mammoths. Mammoths usually mean giant. Hello, mammoths. I am your new herder. Oh, dear. <laughs> that didn't go well. No, the mammoths don't like me. <laughs> The mammoths didn't approve of me taking over. Ah, it's because I haven't killed their current herders. That must be it. Yeah, definitely. All right, let's see what it looks like fighting an actual giant. Come here. Bring it on. Yep, as suspected, I got one hit KO'd. My giant size does not equate to giant strength. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, one hit KO'd again. I don't know why I thought that would go any differently. Let's go and pick on some people not my own size. Hello, this is my fort now. Everybody out. I don't think anybody's ever called me a hero. I take that as a compliment. <laughs> people just usually call me, ah! It's so weird because I feel so OP, but I know I'm not. I know I'm just a level one orc character. It's hard to find the doors because, like, they're so far down and it doesn't look like I should be able to go through them, but I know I can. <laughs> How are they missing all these arrows? Could they have a bigger target? Bang! Bang. I basically just have to hit them with the handle of the sword. I can't hit them with the rest of it. The rest of it doesn't have a hitbox. Oh my god, that was terrifying. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun with this. Let's go inside. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. I'm very impressed by the high ceilings in Skyrim. It's very giant accessible. I really appreciate that. Let's go into first person mode for a bit. Oh god, what the hell was that? What hit me? I don't even know. Ah, what's happening? What am I being attacked by? Oh, it was a bear trap. Okay. What did it catch my like little toe or something? Yeah. I feel like I'm fly swatting. Oh yeah, I've also got Ordinator, so I got a lot more perks. I just can't play this game without mods anymore. The ease in which I'm killing these bandits makes me think that I do get some sort of buff for being this tall, but I don't think I do. Okay, the bandit outlaw is a lot tougher. Jesus, that was a lot of damage. Kill cams just don't work when you're this high. God, he's still spurting blood. Very disturbing. You keep going, Agnes. You're a good soul. I want to see what happens when I go in a building with a low ceiling. I've only been in buildings with high ceilings up until now. I was just phasing through this veranda to give an example of what might happen when I enter the shop. And yeah. Oh my god, the game really doesn't like me being this tall. <laughs> right, let's go in the shop. Oh, okay, it's not actually that bad once you get into the shop itself. It just means I can see upstairs from downstairs. What if I go upstairs? Everything goes wrong. 
everything goes wrong. I love how I can't get through there, but then I open this door, and then I can. I want to buy a shield from you, because I want to see how ridiculous it looks. Oh my god, it just makes it so I just can't see. <laughs> oh my god, with the sword and shield both out, they block up most of the screen. I can see a little sliver down the middle. What happens if I switch to third person? Oh my god. <laughs> It's huge. I love it. That guard just said, God might get nervous a woman approaches with her weapon drawn. I think if I approached without my weapon drawn, you'd be nervous. Wow. I can't see anything at all if I block. And also the sword phases through the shield. Okay, I had to use console commands to get up here, but this was just too perfect a spot when I saw it. I had to finish the video here. I've had so much fun with this mod. It's just ridiculous. And I really want to try other things. Like I'm probably going to make a video where I'm really small, but the weapons are really big. I think that'd be hilarious. I don't know why I find this stuff so funny, but, you know, I hope other people have enjoyed it as well. I really appreciate you for watching the video, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Stay strange, everyone.